All right, you guys, what's up? This is Mrs. Winstead again. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we document an assembly. So the way that this works is you create something called an exploded view. So I'm going to show you an example of an exploded view. As soon as it loads. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so in an exploded view on a drawing file, you have a view that looks like this. It's basically what the pieces look like when you take them apart, kind of what piece goes with what along the way. Um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to actually make that here. Okay, so the first step of creating an exploded view is to open up your assembly file, which should be complete. So here I have my assembly file. And then you're going to be pushing this very tiny icon right over here. Yeah, do you, do you see it? Do you see it's really small. I know. Uh, I had I had a similar problem trying to find it. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. So this says exploded views. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. Uh, for an exploded view, I'm gonna actually hide this menu. You can you can go over there now. Um, I'm going to add an exploded view. So once I have that opened up and I'm going to start moving components around. So I'm going to pan and zoom as necessary. I'm going to take this piece here and notice it has these three arrows. These three arrows are the different directions that you can move this because of the way that this is set up. It'd be weird to move it that way because it'll just clip through the existing thing. So I'm going to Pull it all the way this way until it disconnects. And that is part one. Explode step one and hit OK. All right, so there's that. I can always edit that. In fact, I'm gonna make it go a little further by double clicking on it. And then once I click my next part, I have to click off of that part. I'm gonna take that part off. It's not going to need to go quite as far. Let's explode step two. Hit OK. And then let's see here. We'll take this piece out. It doesn't necessarily matter what order you explode these in. Just want to get each piece. So that's been taken off now. Click off of that. Now I'm going to take the screw out. So that's going to be at a slightly different angle. I'll pull it back this way. Maybe not so far. There we go. So I had to take out the screw. There we go. Now I'm going to take this piece off. There we go. It's been taken off. It's done. Okay. Now I want to pull this piece off. Now let's see if I can just get the shoe. This little bitty piece here. Take that off. Take this piece off. And there we have it. All the pieces have been exploded apart here. So I have finished explode one where I've taken apart all the pieces the way that they kind of went together basically. And I'm going to hit done. So notice that that doesn't change anything about your assembly itself. That your assembly itself is just fine. It's just going to act the way it is. I'm not going to be able to pull anything off like I was for the exploded view. Uh, so all is well. Uh, I'm going to close the exploded views tab. And now I'm going to click the plus button and create a drawing. Now, normally we would do the A size, which is the smallest size drawing. But uh, I feel like I need more room for this exploded view. And it's not like we're printing these anyway. So if you show on shape drawing templates, I'm going to go all the way out to D size in inches. So there's that and hit OK. It's going to create a drawing file for me. Now, just like before, uh, you would be inserting your pictures, but not from a part. Now it's from an assembly. I'm going to click Assembly 1. So it picks my front view. It's not the front view I wanted, but thanks anyway. I'm going to try to pick a right view, I think. 
Ooh, and you can see it's super big. So you see where it says view scale? That is not going to work. I'm going to have to go smaller. Uh, but not like super small. I could go here. You can see that's, that's way too small. So switch it. Uh, I'm going to do a one to two. I feel like that's just enough, right? Okay, so then I can see that. And I'm going to move over to the side here and notice that it automatically is like, oh yeah, you want that side view though. Okay, so here's that. So that gives me just the view of the whole assembled thing. And that's cool. Now I'm going to insert a different view. Same thing with assembly one, same thing with the right side too. I'm going to do the same angle, but where it here, where it says explode position, I'm going to choose explode one. And you notice the picture changes. Now we have an exploded view. It even has little lines kind of showing how the pieces come apart. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and then I think I'm going to add one more. It's a front view. That's what this guy thinks it is. And I'm going to choose my explode one again. So that I can see from another angle the exploded view. Here we go. Now, when you're making these in real life, sorry, my notifications are going to go off. Um, when you're making these in real life, you usually want to put in some kind of annotation saying, here's what this part is, here's what you insert into this. But you don't have to be all extra for that for today's assignment. I just want you to go into the practice of creating an exploded view and then putting that in a drawing file. So yeah, you're going to be submitting literally the same URL that you did for the last assignment, but now with this handy drawing file showing that view. So that's, that's the way you do the exploded view. Uh, and that's it. So this is really handy for assemblies because it shows every part and how they're supposed to go together. Uh, so you may have seen one of these before. The image for our assignment is actually pretty similar. So just kind of gives you some perspective there. Anyway, give it a try. Shouldn't be too, too hard once you've got your assembly together and Good luck.